Mobile players got some changes to the device, so let's go over them. First, the big one. You can now get 120 FPS on your mobile device. I was very excited about this, couldn't wait to check it out, and come to find out it's not every mobile device. It's only certain ones. So let me go ahead and first show you where this option is so you can check for yourself to see if it's available. I'm just going to go ahead and in Fortnite, we're just going to go ahead and tap on the top right. And we're going to go ahead and choose settings. And right there, mobile frame rate pretty much tells you exactly where to go. So I'm on 30 right now. If I click to the right, I'll be 60. And if you notice when I go to 60, the quality down below here drops to medium. So you can't have high quality. You go down to when you go up to 60. So it's the same thing on the devices that do allow 120. Now I have an iPhone X and I'm going to be upgrading next year. I wanted to wait because next year is going to be insane. I'm sure you all know about that. But if you don't know what's coming with the new iPhone, I'll post a video up top so you can check that out. Pretty awesome. I can't wait. But anyway, let's get back to this video. Um, with this, you will be able to go ahead and use 120 frames per second if you have an iPad Pro uh, starting at 2018 version. You will be able to do that. It'll be the same thing. You'll be able to, except you'll be able to go to 60 to 120. And then your quality presets that are high will change to medium when you jump to the 120. So you are sacrificing some quality, but it's definitely worth it for that. If you have an iPad Pro, I would definitely change that. With this, you will be able to go ahead and get more frames per second if you have the iPad Pro than console players, which they're pretty upset about. The new consoles are coming out next week. I'm sure when they do, they're going to be flying and things are going to look so much different. So it'll be really interesting to see what happens at that point. They also added some different things for joysticks with the new version. So controllers work better. I have already made a video on how to play a controller on a mobile device. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it at the end of the video so you can check it out. It's one of my more popular videos and it's really fun. So check that out because you can be pretty cracked when you're playing on one of these with a controller. Or if you have the iPad Pro and you're running 120 frames per second with a PS4 controller, sick. So check that out. I will see you over there.